Holy shit, I've never felt such animosity towards a cartoon character before. Even Heather from season 1 of TDI has never pushed me this far into hatred. But I will snap Aqua's small little blue neck without hesitation if you make the mistake of letting her anywhere near my vicinity. I just made a passing comment about this, but now that I think more deeply into it, who would win in a fight? Lapis or the parasitical worm that is Aqua fucking Marine? Oh dear god, how much I hate her so. Let's get into it. But wait, before I start, I noticed that my first cartoon fights video just kinda blew up out of fucking nowhere. So instead of doing something like that, I'll continue it in this format where we analyze who would win instead of editing completely unbelievable circumstances which half of the viewers won't even understand. Seriously, that is straight up my most disliked video on my channel. And I am in no way upset by that. Kinda find it funny actually. Um, never mind. Okay, back to this. Now, we don't get much look into Aquamarine's power, so we can't be too sure of the extent of her abilities, whereas we've got a pretty good idea about Lapis and what she is capable of doing. For starters, before we begin, I believe Aqua's hair bow, which doubles as a wand, is her main weapon, not her gem weapon that she summons from her gem like Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl does. She does have her wings, but I was never really sold on the fact that Lapis's wings were her own weapons to begin with, but meh, formalities. Maybe water wings are a trait typically associated with water-based gems, like how strength and bulky figures are associated with earth-based gems like the quartzes. And Aquamarine's water pixie wings don't come out of her gem but her back, same as Lapis. Imagine how freaky it would be if Aqua's wings came from her gem. Also, aha! If the wings come out of your back and not your gem, that means Lapis's gem weapon may still yet to be revealed. And seeing as Smokey's weapon was a yo-yo, Lapis's weapon should straight up be a mace or an assault rifle. But my point is, what if Aquamarine's wand is her main weapon just like how Peridot used to be her limb enhancers? Before Peridot discovered her metal powers, all she had was the technological advancements that Homeworld had gave her. She stated in the episode Too Short to Ride that she's new, an era 2 gem, and she wasn't made with the special powers of an era 1 gem because Homeworld doesn't have the vast resources they used to. So maybe, and I mean a freaking big maybe, maybe Aquamarine is an era 2 gem, one that was made who couldn't handle all the powers regularly given to her gem type and was given a powerful weapon instead. Remember from the message when Lapis warned the gems that everything on Homeworld had changed and things were way more advanced? Technology like Aqua's bow wand does seem pretty high tech and advanced and I think the beam the wand projects is a freeze type of ability because, you know, water and all that. As far as we know, Lapis has no control over ice and snow, which is really disappointing considering when you compare it to our other waterbender friends, but Lapis's power over water is telepathic. Or telekinetic? Uh... The power over water, which is the ability to control it, is scientifically known as hydrokinesis, whereas the one for ice is chirokinesis. I know all this because I'm actively doing research for a book I've had in mind slash have been writing for the past 9 years that's basically an avatar Harry Potter hybrid. But back to this. We see Lapis use her hand and arms to control water, but the power to actually do so comes from her mind. Even if Aqua manages to freeze her, Lapis could hypothetically, technically still control water with her mind. Lapis could also clip Aqua's water wings or even immobilize her in a water bubble. We see no instance of Aqua being able to control water except her wings which sprout from her body. We also see an instance where Aquamarine is rendered powerless when her wand is taken from her. But there is no water in the vicinity so we might not know if she would have used it instead. Aquamarine is obviously of a higher ranking gem, I mean look at that outfit. But then an argument could be made as to how an era 2 gem could be of a high rank with such a young age. But Paradox was also entrusted to come check progress on the earth which was obviously so important to Yellow despite being an era 2 gem. And even Jasper, a well respected course of the war, was sent here as well. So either Homeworld sends their best gems to Earth or just anyone that's available. Would it be a stretch then to assume an Era 2 gem could rise to such a high rank? From how highly Aquamarine speaks of her gem type, we know she's nowhere near Paradise low level. But she must be of some importance to speak of the diamonds. Can't believe they wasted an Aquamarine on a job like this. 
and a gem of that much importance who didn't have any natural powers would be given such a powerful weapon, no? Yes, Parados Limb Enhancers were good with their blasters and all, but that goddamn one is too OP. It restrained Alexandrite for Pete's sake. Can someone take it away from this child, please? Just a slight update, ignore most of what I've just said, because in a recent-ish tweet, depending on how long it takes this video to come out, Rebecca Sugar actually said, Aquamarine is particularly small, particularly young, particularly important. Topaz is particularly powerful. I wanted you to see sort of both sides of the very, very high-ranking types of blue and yellow gems. I can't go back to Homeworld without getting what the diamonds want. Steve, I love you. Well, that's it then. They reconfirmed. Not only is Aquamarine a young high-ranking gem, but her and Topaz are both top of the crop for both yellow and blue gem types. We got it from the mouth of the freaking creator. And also, rewatching I Am My Mom, Pearl basically says the exact same thing. That little gem I saw before, her name's Aquamarine. What? A topaz fusion and an aquamarine? Are they a big deal? Uh, yes! Blue and yellow diamond must have sent them personally. So with Aqua being young, <coughs> era two, <coughs> we can assess she might probably not have hydrokinesis like a lapis lazuli. Era 1 aquamarines and maybe even all the other water based gems. If Lapis and aquamarine were to go toe to toe, it would be a sight to behold and I pray the universe has thought about an animated or something like that. I need to see a gem take this little midget out and who better to do so than Lapis Lazuli, the freaking queen of the sea. Maybe that's why she and Peridot were nowhere to be seen in the last two episodes of season 4 because these two going at it would be too epic for our eyeballs to witness. Before Aqua could even whip out her bow, Lapis would just launch an ocean of water at her, probably separating her from a wand and taking her out no sweat. Or maybe Aqua would be too fast. We've seen her reflex when it comes to reaching for her bow. She could halt Lapis's actions before the water could even touch her. Then Lapis could just blow all our minds and control the water telepathically and have it assault Aquamarine instead. Aqua would be too busy trying to freeze all the water projectiles that it might break her concentration and hold on Lapis. Although we've seen Aquamarine be able to control and hold multiple subjects with her wand, we just haven't seen the limits. And let's not forget, Lapis can create water minions to all go after Aquamarine and attack her from various angles. Even Topaz won't be able to defend her when Topaz is to be fighting Topaz and Topaz, and Topaz in turn has to fuse with Topaz to fight Topaz Topaz, who they themselves would then fuse and we'd have an all-out Topaz fusion smackdown. Ha! Were you able to keep up? I hope you were, cause that was a bloody strong trunk twister. But for real, who would you bet your money on if a fight were to occur? If only there was a site that could take him bets. My current AdSense number is this, but I can't touch any of it because reasons. But I'd be willing to lay down 5 bucks on Lapis. If such site existed, I would structure it in a way that would be bet for Lapis wins, Aquamarine wins, or no such fight occurred. That way, everyone has a chance to win. So I'm research on that and let me know if such a thing exists. Also, let me know of any other possible cartoon fights you want me to predict, edit, or talk about. And please let it not just be Steven Universe, I'd be willing to make a Marco vs Milo cartoon fight video. Or maybe Mikasa vs Kuvira. Ashi vs Azula? I'd go for Milo, I'd bet my life on Mikasa, and for this one, I don't really know. You? Also, while I still have your minimalistic attention, you can go check out my book, I am the fifth member of the Fantastic Four on Wattpad. The main girl Victoria in the book has the power to control ice and snow, which is a perfect counter to Johnny Storm's fire. Some readers basically call them a song of ice and fire. A GOT reference there for you Game of Thrones fans. I already have two new chapters going up for that. So if you're interested, please check it out. We're almost to 100,000 readers, let's go! Anyway, thanks for your so much for clicking to watch. Please don't forget to read my books on Wattpad, support me on Patreon, and follow me on Twitter. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stay awesome. This is TBC. Signing out.